high, highest architectural quality is even this, this uh, double meaning of its appearance. Uh, it's new and it's old in the same moment. It's timeless. The former imperial city of Ravensburg in southern Germany is situated in a topographically magical spot about halfway up the Feitsburg Castle Hill. This presupposes a noticeable integration for any new structures within the irregular alleys of the old town. For years, the Stuttgart architects Lederer Ragnar's Dottir Ui have demonstrated that they have mastered the art of balancing historical locations with modern structures. In this case, the task was to erect a museum on a sharp corner lot where 20th century works from the Gudrun and Peter Selinka art collection would be housed. We have the ground floor, which is a little bit smaller because of the street which is going around the corner, so cars had to be passed. And then in the, second, in, in the first and in the second level, we, had, we have more place and we made it simple, rectangular. After the entry level, there are two exhibition levels with large areas that stretch across the entire floor space. Just two separate and meticulously detailed staircases serve the elongated rectangular structure. This allows a flexible arrangement for exhibitions. Since many years we try to make buildings uh, which have the windows only there where you need it. And this is a question of durability. Uh, it's a question of, um, of the dividing public space and private space. So it's an architectural question, especially with this situation. We have a museum and a, an art museum, they, they don't want to have uh, daylight. The only daylight is in these two staircases. The robust, copper-finished, drum-shaped entryway presents an unconventional element. This well-sealed revolving door complies with the requirements of a passive house, one whose massive roofs are temperature regulated by a heat pump. Furthermore, the reuse of building materials speaks to an energy-saving and life-cycle-oriented concept of sustainability. If we are talking about um, sustainability, it's one of the main themes, where come the material, where do you get the material from, how many energy do you need, how do you get it in the building, can you repair it, and um, how long would it last? Can you uh, take the materials and use it in another way, or what are you doing with the materials? You know, we have three steps of putting energy in a material. You don't need any energy if you reuse the material. On the other side, you need a lot of energy if you produce a new material. And recycling is more or less in the middle. So it's better to think about reuse. The bricks from which the house was constructed came from a demolished monastery on the Belgian border. This material is uniquely suited to reuse since it doesn't change over time. Traces of use, bits of old mortar and chipped corners are accepted as patina. One peculiarity is the visible brick shell of the trumpet-shaped alternating roof curvatures, once common in industrial construction. Along with the resource-saving new application of building materials, this affects an atmospheric integration into the building's history. The structure seems to modestly seek a closer relationship with its old town surroundings. The roof line represents a fifth facade, one whose inner curvature is still perceptible from outside. The traditional brick shell is weighted down by a layer of top concrete, over which the heat insulation and a black ceiling were laid. The roof presents no visual disruptions, nothing that disturbs the view from above. Why we use bricks? We use it to make buildings very heavy. If you go in summertime in an old building, which walls like this, it's comfort, it's cool. And um, in wintertime, if you put enough heat in it, and um, we have the isolation here, it, it takes a long time for cooling out. 
and um, a brick is a very good material to make the walls and it's very nice and everybody likes it. Economic considerations alone would not have convinced the architects to put this brick to further use. For them, it also presented an aesthetic advantage. Particularly due to the structure's few windows, a solution needed to be found for the large stretches of flat wall space. And for this, the changing colors of the brick work superbly. They yield an endless picture, a haptic surface that anticipates the artistic pleasure awaiting inside. If we make glass facades, um, the technique of the glass um, and, and the facades and the aluminium and all these things, we say it has a lifetime um, 25 or 30 years, then you have to renew it. If you make a brick facade, you can see it in Gothic um, churches or in Roman uh, buildings. It's a material uh, which lasts about um, more than two, five hundred years. <laughs>